today I want to go over how to create a customized work environment within Rhino. One of the common problems that you have when you're working in the lab is that you'll come in and you'll get a screen that looks like this when Rhino opens. Uh, and it's because it doesn't have any of the toolbar collections uh, within the work environment. The simplest way to correct this problem is to come to the tools menu and to reset the toolbars. And when you do that, and you click on yes when you get this reset option open, and what that does, that loads in the default toolbar, Rhino's default toolbar. And it consists of three main elements. You have your main one, main two, and over here along the top you have your standard toolbar. Okay, and this is the standard generic Rhino work environment, and most people are happy with this. But you can, Rhino is totally customizable. Your workspace is totally customizable. And the way that you customize your work environment, there are two approaches that you can take. The first approach is to click on your menus to expand and open them up. Okay, and let's make sure that our toolbars aren't locked, that, that, that's, that that's unlocked. That's very important because now we can bring these out and we can click on these to expand these options lines and let's expand the scale option and we can lay these out in our toolbars now we can also move these around and dock them like in this case I'm going to dock that there I'll dock this one down here like so you can bring this over here and dock this on the side there or below there so there are a lot of locations or I can put it up here and so there are a lot of places where you can place these toolbars you can also go into your toolbars layout menu located here and you can actually click on okay, I wanted to bring up my arcs I can open up my arc toolbar by clicking on that right there and it's behind me right there I can also open up my circle toolbar and open that. And I can open up my curve toolbar, which is probably hiding behind there. Let's move that off to the side. And I'm going to close these, and I can place these within my work environment. And if, when you hover on, on along these, like so, along the edge, it allows you to reshape the toolbars so that now they can be like little boxes. Let me move this back down to the bottom here. So you can see how that expands. Slide that back up there like so. I want to move this toolbar over here like so. Expand that up like that. And I can set up an environment like that. And I can move this down over here. And so I've sort of begun, and this can go on um, ad infinitum depending upon how you want to set up your work environment. But now I want to save this. And the way that this layout, and the way that I do that is I come over here to my tool, toolbar layouts, and I can come over here under my file menu and say file save as. And I would recommend saving this in two places. A, I would create a directory on my jump drive, which I called Rhino, and I would save this .tb toolbar collection file in that directory on Rhino and I would also put it in your area on the T drive and what you do here is just give it a name okay and in this case I'm going to call this uh, demo uh, 03 because I have a couple of these files it's called demo 03 and I'm hit save and you'll notice that that becomes the default toolbars now I can erase my toolbars just to show you how you can reload this in I can come in here and say close all and this closes all the current toolbars and it sort of takes us back to where we were originally now let's say you came in you found yourself in this situation all you would have to do is come up to the toolbar layout menu and say file open and I'm going to open up demo 03 and it opens up those toolbars that I created and you might have to move these around just a little bit just to put them back in their proper locations let's move that down there and we'll move this down here and now I have my 
work environment with the toolbars that I have customized. And once you have them um, uh, in a place the way that you like them, one of the things that you can do, you can come in and lock your dock toolbars, which will lock uh, those toolbars in place for you. And that's how you create a customized work environment within Rhino. Uh, 